Hello everyone, I hope you've had a good week. Perhaps you've uh, been caught out by the rain. We've needed it, haven't we? But it'd be nice to see some sunshine back again. One of my favourite games is Guess Who. Perhaps you've got a box of Guess Who somewhere that you could get out and play with somebody. You only need one extra person to play it. If you haven't, have a go at guessing from these clues that I'm going to give you. Who is the person? This lady is quite petite. She's lived through eight decades. She's the only person in the UK who is allowed to drive a vehicle without a driving license. And she has two birthdays. Who's that? Number two, this person sailed at God's request and welcomed a flying symbol of peace. Any ideas? Number three, a person of great age who has raised money for a much used cause and he had a big hobby of motorcycling. And the last one, described as having a wart at the end of the nose, knobbly knees and turned up toes amongst many other wonderful attributes. Who's that? I'll give you the answers at the end. We're all known by our names, aren't we? We can refer to people by their name and someone will know who we're talking about. Some of us may have nicknames too that friends and family close to us use. Most names have got a meaning. And if a new baby is expected in a family, the parents have a wonderful job of choosing the name for their new baby. Do you know what your name means? Well, I've been having a look up of names. My name, Sally, means princess. It's a name that comes from a shortened version of the Hebrew name Sarah. And in one place where I looked, it said it was a cheerful, fresh-faced, girl-next-door sort of name. Well, I can live with that. It's not too bad, is it? I also looked up the names or the meanings of the names of some of the people that come to our junior church. Jack, your name originally comes from John and its meaning is God is gracious. Claire, who you sometimes see on her, her mean, name means bright and clear. Alexander, little Alexander, your name means the protector of men. Perhaps you'll do that one day. Isabella means pledged by God. Worship, your name means excellence of character, dignity and honour. Zara, eastern brightness. Kingsley means like a king coming from the king's meadow. Francesca means a free one. Cecilia means blind to your own beauty. And Dammy means blessed with wealth. What lovely meanings some of our names have got. I hope we can all live up to them. And you can have a look at friends for friends names in name books or just get someone to help you Google them. Jesus was once walking with his disciples when he asked the question, who do you think I am? Simon Peter, one of the disciples who had been with Jesus for a long time, watching him perform miracles, hearing him talk to the crowds, answered, you're the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus was very pleased with that answer and said, you will now be known as Peter which means rock. I can rely on you to continue my teaching and be the foundations of my church. I trust you. What a wonderful thing to happen. Peter did in fact become one of the first ministers of the early church and he helped to spread the good news of Jesus, something that we all strive to do today. 
we also need good foundations to live our lives by, don't we? Buildings need strong foundations. Perhaps you have some building bricks, some Lego or Duplo or something similar. And I've got my box of Duplo out, which I have here at home ready for when the grandchildren come. And I've created this. Rather spectacular, isn't it? A building of many colours. Perhaps you could create a wonderful building, a structure out of building bricks or use scrap materials, recycling boxes to create something. Perhaps you could make a building, get someone to help you take a photograph of it and send it to the Olive Tree Facebook page. We'd love to see your photographs of things that you've made. Perhaps even Steve Rogers might also send some photos of his wonderful Lego buildings that he did earlier in lockdown and it will just go to show that you're never too old to play with Lego. I'll finish with a short prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for the examples of strong faith in your disciples, especially Peter and the solid foundation that they provided for our church. Please help us to have strong foundations in our lives and be good examples to other people. Amen. And before I go, I should give you the answers to the clues, shouldn't I? The first one, the petite lady who has two birthdays, of course, is the queen. Number two, the man who sailed at God's request and the flying symbol was the dove of peace is, of course, Noah. A person of great age who raised money for a much-used cause. His hobby was motorcycling. That is Captain Sir Tom Moore, who walked those hundred uh, times in his back garden earlier in lockdown. And described as having a wart at the end of his nose, knobbly knees and turned out toes is the Gruffalo. Have fun this week and we'll see you again. Bye.